Hi, welcome to day five of the 12 days of Christmas at Lori's Country Cottage. My name is Lisa. I have some great stuff to show you today. Great new things to help you on your quilting journey. The first thing up is the skill building quick and easy block tool. This is a book filled with 110 classic blocks and each block has instructions for five different sizes. It's got block indexes by skill level, by the size of the grid, and whether they use pre-cuts or not. There are excellent instructions for all of the blocks. At the back of the book, there's an index for several measurements, including inset triangles and corner triangles for quilts you put on the diagonal setting. The skill building quick and easy block tool will help you make tons of blocks and you can choose any size you like. Up next, our handy dandy pattern holder. This was something we found at Quilt Market. It's weighted, quite heavy, can't really knock it over. And I've put a couple patterns in to show you how it works. You can use book style patterns or single pages, and you can also put them in landscape. It comes in four sizes. The purple is on the way. There's lime green, turquoise, pink, and purple. Up next, from June Taylor. You know I love Quilt As You Go. June Taylor now has cosmetic bags with their pre-printed foundation. You will make from each package a large bag and a small bag. Included with the June Taylor cosmetic bag are two zippity do done zippers. If you're afraid of zippers, this is the way to do it. I'm going to switch to the overhead camera and show you how zippity do done zippers work. Let me show you how the zippity do done zippers work. They're already attached to the zipper. All you do is take your fabric and slide it in between the tape and top stitch. Voila! Your zipper is done. So you can see when Lori made this sample, she just stitched along the bottom and then you can choose to stitch along the zipper if you want. And those zippers are included with your cosmetic bag and the foundation. Now that we're zoomed in, let me show you a few other things that we have for day five of the 12 Days of Christmas. Up next, the OESD mini mat. You get a set of two mini mats. These are cutting mats. Why would you ever need a cutting mat this small? Well, let me show you. Have you heard of the OESD hole punch? This hole punch comes with three dies, so three different sizes of holes. You would use it for freestanding lace, punching holes for snaps and grommets, and things like that. So let me show you how it works. I've got a piece of vinyl here. Vinyl's nice and thin, so this will be super easy. All you do is hold your punch vertical, give it a twist, and voila, I've got holes in my vinyl. Works great for cork as well. Have you made a Kimberbell cushion top with fairy lights? You know all those little holes you had to cut for fairy lights? The perfect punch works perfect for that. Something else for our machine embroiderers. This is hoop grip tape. It's meant to go on the outside of your inner hoop to help hoop slippery or um, fabrics that move around a lot. So I'm gonna show you how it goes on. It's basically double-sided tape, except this side, the yellow peels off, is quite textured. So to put it on, it's as easy as this. Take your inside hoop and stick it on. When you get back to the beginning, don't overlap. Make sure that you cut it even with your starting point. So I'm gonna do that with my handy dandy scissors. 
There we go. Stick it down. And now I can peel off the yellow outside and then make sure that tape is stuck down. See how well it sticks? Sticks to my fingers too. Make sure it's stuck all the way down. Now this tape is reusable. It's not just use it once and then peel it off and throw it away. You can actually use it over and over for your hooping. You can also, they suggest, rinse it with water and then let it dry. So I've just got a piece of tear away and some regular cotton. I'll put my hoop in. I'm pretty sure I have it sideways. I do. And you can see how it sticks nice. Let me do that again, the right direction. There we go. And then it just helps any of those slippery fabrics to stay in your there we go. Now I have the tension of my hoop plus my hoop grip tape. Now hoop grip tape can also be used on the back of templates and rulers or really anything you don't want to slide around. Sometimes my rotating mat is kind of slippery and I'll show you. I put a little bit of hoop grip tape on the bottom of this ruler. It's not going anywhere. So you can use that. It's got lots of uses and as I said, it is reusable and you can rinse it and use it again. All right, what's up next? Well, something else for our machine embroiderers, but not just for machine embroiderers, anybody can use this. Boy, oh boy, when I took this home, I thought I sure could have used this when I'm doing my machine embroidery. So often when we do machine embroidery or quilt as you go, we have a tack down line and then they ask us to trim it right at the tack down line, but leave the fabric so that you can join your blocks. Well, that's really tough to do. And quite often we end up cutting our top fabric. So let me show you the trimmer by George. It has a lip, a metal lip here that I'm gonna to use to cut along. You have to use a 60 millimeter cutter with it because it's raised. A 45 millimeter isn't going to work well. It's got 45 degree lines, 60 degree lines, plus lines for your binding and for sashing, plus quarter inch marks, which will be handy. So here's how uh, Trimmer by George number three works. Peel back your top fabric because that you need to have a quarter inch. We just want to trim batting and stabilizer. So I'm going to kind of slide it along there. I feel, look to make sure I have no fabric showing and trim. And I'll do it all the way around. So you can see how easy it is. Fold your fabric back, nudge the ruler up, give it a little slide. I always check to make sure there's no fabric showing and trim. Now, I can trim this to a quarter inch. I found it easier to trip to turn it to the back. Let's do this side. Then I can use the quarter inch line on my ruler, line it up with the edge of my block and trim it. So when it comes time to put these two blocks together, I've got a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here. I can stitch them together and there's no batting in the seam allowance. That's a struggle for machine embroiderers. That's the Trimmer by George 3.0. And it's a game changer when you're doing embroidery blocks or quilt as you go blocks. I think I've shown you everything for day number five. We started with the skill building quick and easy block tool book 110 different blocks in five different sizes. We've got the pattern stand up to 14 pages in four different colors. We've got the June Taylor Quilt As You Go cosmetic bag. Each kit allows you to make two bags. Don't forget to try using cork or vinyl if you want for these bags, that would be amazing. We've got the OESD set of mini mats plus the OESD punch tool, hoop grip tape for your machine embroidery hoop, and the Trimmer by George 
I hope you enjoyed day number five. Don't forget to download that free barn block uh, so you can quilt along with us and make a Christmas quilt. And we'll see you tomorrow for day number six.